Hey everyone, it's Eric here from my 525 Excel. Just giving you kind of an update on the tank. Uh, first of all, I'm back from Portugal. Had a fantastic time. Went to the island of uh, São Miguel. Stayed in Punta Delgada with some friends of ours across the street. Fantastic trip. My first trip to Europe. Loved every second of it. Food was phenomenal. People were incredible. Trip was just... I loved it. It was great. Boys took a great... Uh, sorry, the boys took great care of the tank. No casualties, no uh, no bad stuff happened, no algae outbreaks, nothing. They did a fantastic job. I let my daughter do it one time, and brutal. I love her. She's my daughter, but man, she killed the tank. Anyway, she just didn't follow instructions. So, Anyway, tank's running, uh, running great. Uh, just the update on a new project I have, which is this guy here. Um, sorry for the lighting. It's 11.30 at night right now, so uh, Friday night. Um, this is the Desktop Peninsula by Red Sea. This is a unplanned project. I just kind of fell into it. I got this from resupplies.ca. Uh, Ray and Giovanni of Montreal, fantastic team. Um, been dealing with these guys for at least, it has to be 10 years. Um, I can't say enough about them. I will buy anything from them that I need even if I can get it locally they're just top-notch uh, price competitive and customer service is fantastic honestly it's getting hard to come by these days so thanks guys appreciate your help on this one um, getting it out to me so quickly fantastic so this tank is almost 24 gallons uh, dimensions are 16 and a half high 23 wide and 17 no, sorry, 23 deep, 17 wide. So uh, I just took the top out uh, just to take a look, make sure there's no damage. So I haven't pulled it out of the box yet, um, but a preliminary investigation looks good. No cracks, I don't think. I'll pull it out tomorrow uh, when I've got more light. Uh, packaging is great. Uh, got a box of parts in there. The cabinet I've already put together because I was just anxious. I was actually going to put it right beside the 525. Um, but I decided not to for a couple of reasons. Um, one is really just space. So the tank itself or the cabinet is probably one door width of the 525 of the three. Sorry again for the lighting. I'm going to try and correct this post. So if I were to put it beside it, I don't have a lot of room once that wall comes in. I could do it, but then maintenance on the side of the tank for both of them would be too tight. And then I think we'd just kind of close off this area here. In the hallway so what I've done is put it over here in the corner so that's the cabinet itself um, so it's the exact same height as the cabinet on the 525 which is cool would have been great if I could put it side by side but uh, it's just not feasible so I'm gonna put it here in the corner um, this leveling mat self leveling mat came on the tank itself when I opened it so I've just put it on top for now the cabinet, as you would expect from Red Sea, is is uh, very solid construction. So I just put that together tonight. It took about oh, 45 minutes. So I was just taking my time. Um, so that's where it's going to go. A um, little worried about where it is with respect to all my electronic equipment. Receiver, Xbox, PS5, speakers. But <clears throat> thinking it through, um, you saw the... It's an all-inclusive tank, right? All-in-one, I guess. So I'm not going to put a, a sump down here on the bottom. Uh, it'll just be storage. So um, I'm not too worried about anything overflowing. The automatic top-off reservoir is, I don't know, a couple of cups. So I, I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, I'll just have to make sure I'm extra careful. And when I do water changes, I'll really need to pay attention because I don't want to splash salt water down here. Uh, having said that, I cracked open the box with all the other parts in it that I needed. Um, so I've got the return pump here, which will go in there. And everything goes in the back of the tank, so I'll, I'll do more videos on this stuff as we go along. This is the huge honking ATO reservoir. As you can see, by the size of my hand, it's teeny tiny, so that's why I'm saying I'm not too worried about overflow. And the desktop skimmer itself will go in the back too. Slender design. And then this is a first for me. This is the Reef LED 90. So 
probably bigger than what I need, uh, but that's okay. Could do a 50, I guess, but this is a 90, so that's fine. I've never used one of these before, so it should be interesting. And then I also includes the arm, so and that is for the light itself. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to uh, just cut off the video here for now. I'm going to splice a few more together as we go along and set this up. So um, a little late now. I'm going to wait till tomorrow and we'll get started between Saturday and Sunday. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> 